guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be going over my monthly favorites for april but before we get into that i'm going to be sharing with you guys two new scents that i got from dossier so if you haven't seen my previous video well not my previous video but if you haven't seen my perfume video i'm gonna leave that um in the link below i go over my perfume collection and then i also talk about the first two scents that i received from dossier okay so what i love about dossier is that they reproduce high-end luxurious classic perfumes at a fraction of the cost so they have a risk-free system which allows customers to try out their products before committing to them so after after you have purchased a scent let's just say that you decide that you want to return it they offer a standard 30-day return period which allows customers to return any unsealed 50 millimeter perfumes um, at no cost no judgment no questions asked and you will get a full refund now again what i absolutely love about this company is just how affordable it is you can get a perfume for as little as 29 dollars where more of the high-end luxury scents they range from from 50 to 280 dollars retail and let's be honest not all of us have that to actually like splurge on perfume so again dossier is definitely something that you all need to get your hands on give it a try if you want to build a perfume uh collection they're definitely a company to check out because it enables you to do so without breaking the bank and they're always adding new scents so speaking of scents so i'm going to share with you guys the two newest scents of dossier that i have um and one of them is going to be a part of my favorites because i've been using it non-stop since i since i got it the first perfume that i chose is called fruity brown sugar and this is inspired by ysl's i'm always going to jack up these names but i'm assuming did you pronounce it moon Mon Pili, no, Mon Pili Eau de Parfum, right? And of course, this is what all of the dossier bottles look like. And as I've stated in my other video, the tops are magnetic, which is just amazing. But again, with me not necessarily being so good at describing scents, I'm just going to share with you guys different levels of notes. So the top notes for this one is bergamot, raspberry, and pear. Middle notes is jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar. And then the base notes is patchouli, amber, and vanilla. This is a sweet smelling um, perfume, but it's not like candy. It's more of a floral scent, which I do usually care for. Um, floral and fruity, but it's not like over the top. To me, this is very, uh, it's light. It's not overpowering and it just smells really good and so the second one i got which is one of my favorites for this month because i've been using it <laughs> like i've lost my mind this one is called woody oak moss and this one inspired is inspired by um chanel's coco mademoiselle eau de parfum the top notes bergamot i think a lot of these have a bergamot as a lot of the top notes but anyways okay so the top notes for this one bergamot orange and peach middle notes jasmine rose and patchouli and then the base notes, oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver. I'm fin familiar with vetiver and then, of course, oak moss. But as far as both of the perfumes that I've chosen, they both have bergamot. And they both have jasmine, patchouli, and vanilla. So as you can see, I have a tendency to choose some of the same types of fragrances. But this one just smells so amazing. And again, it's just so luxurious. It lasts all day. And it just makes me feel like I'm supposed to be... <laughs> on a boat or something so those are the two scents that um i picked from dossier again please make sure you check them out use my coupon code which will be in the description box below so that you can save on dossier perfume if you decide to check them out let me know in the comment section below like which ones you chose and which ones ended up being your favorites let's talk about it so moving on to my favorites for the month for the most part these are like well they're like well i have one that's like beauty related and then the other ones are like body related one lifestyle item um i have them all in a bag just because of the space that i'm filming in today so the first one i want to talk about this is a lotion by dr keels and this is the coconut oil version now when i purchased this i was looking for lotion because i have a lot of like scenty lotions 
as you guys can see, I love scents. But I wanted something that wasn't, I guess, overpowering. And people speak so highly of Dr. Teal's. I don't use them often. So I saw this on the shelf and I was like, ooh, coconut oil. I'm pretty sure, you know, that's a good scent to choose. So I bought one bottle, used it, and I was like, okay, this smells good. And then my husband came home one day and he already had like his own personal lotion bottle of lotion to use, but it was a completely different brand. But then he he saw this and he used it and he was was just like okay I like this one better so then when he started using my bottle of lotion I just went ahead and bought him his own and now this is like our personal favorites it's moisturizing it's light scented it still smell smells really good though it's got cocoa butter shea butter vitamin e and of course coconut oil and essential oils and I picked this up for, from uh, Target but you can also get it from Walmart depending on where you get it from it's like between four and five dollars it's definitely an item that you guys should check out you will not be disappointed okay so for my beauty related favorite i did a whole video dedicated to this particular item but you know i almost forgot all about it you know how sometimes you'll go through your your stash of whatever you have and you just rediscover things that you loved so this is an item that i just rediscovered i don't often wear makeup as much as i used to especially since we all typically walk around with masks on so i just haven't really worn it as much but i recently went on um a girl's trip and I wore makeup pretty much the entire time that I was there and I brought this with me just because I wanted something to remove my makeup easier and it just made me remember why I love this product so much so this is a product called one size so this is the go off makeup dissolving mist in a can and then of course to go along with it it's the go off juiciest makeup remover wipes I'm gonna link below the video that I actually dedicated to this, but this is like, it just made me fall in love with it all over again because it literally just melts the makeup off of your face. Like this is what I'm gonna use once I'm done filming this because I don't need to be <laughs> walking around all day with a full face of makeup. But what I love about this is just how it just breaks it down. So you spray this all over your face and I always describe it as like, like little makeup removing angels. <laughs> helping you to remove all this makeup. And once you spray it on your face, again, it's very light feeling. You wanna like rub the makeup even more to further break it down. And then you're gonna use one of the wipes. And these wipes are huge, cause let's be honest, makeup wipes in general have always been like the size of the palm of your hand. This is like bigger than that. So you're able to honestly get all of the makeup off of your face because of how, how large these are. So, this is definitely one of my favorites for April. So these are one of those products that, well, there's going to be two products that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to mention that someone's going to be like, oh my God, why are you mentioning it? It may seem like TMI, but you know, we're all friends here, right? So this particular product, it's, it's a flushable wipe. Okay, let's just get right to it. But this is by Good Wipes. This is an Ascent Rose Water. And I love these because of how affordable they are. I have found that this particular brand, it's a good size too. And Rose Water, I like the scent of that. Now, when I went to the store to replenish these, I couldn't even find the Rose Water ones. So I think the, the newer ones I have is like lavender. But I feel like this is like a must-have in every bathroom. So if you don't have it, you may want to consider like getting them because they're amazing. We love these. I, I don't I don't I don't I don't you know know any other thing to say other than I just feel like it's a necessity for everyone's bathroom and so the next thing I'm only laughing because some of these things to talk about I feel like they've been made it's like taboo to talk about but this is like stuff that we all deal with especially we as females so this product in particular hands down my favorite pad ever and I've tried multiple different brands of pads but this one is my favorite this is the always i can't even think of the name of it but i'll put a picture of it if i can find it but it's like the cotton something but this is like my favorite i don't want to purchase anything else other than this just because of how well it works without me being too tmi but this like i always have it in my purse now because you just never know i have shared it with like other people and they always rave about it like if you've been on like a journey of trying to just find the perfect one i think you guys should give that one a shot i don't think it's anything that will disappoint you it just works so well 
and yeah it just it just honestly works so well so give it a try and again if you if you decide to like let me know in the comment section below if you did because again i just feel like this is these are things that we just don't talk about enough because it's just been made taboo like i don't know why but like it's i mean it's gonna be april's favorite it's gonna be may june july like it's just gonna be a favorite always but i wanted to make sure i shared this with you all just so you understood just how amazing it is so head to target head to walmart and go ahead and try it and just let me know how you how you feel about it the next thing it's a beauty item so this is typically i would say this is like a facial brush but i got it from vanity planet but it comes with like two brush heads for your face and then there's like a big one i wish i brought it out for your body and it exfoliates now i have i can't for the life of me remember what the name of it is but it's another brand uh of a of a facial brush but it's like way more expensive i bought it like a million years ago and then i bought this which obviously gives you other options other than your face from vanity planet and i love it so this one particular brush head is the exfoliating one and then they give you another one which i think is just like regular cleansing and then the big the body brush which is like I want to say it's about that big which is just for your whole entire body and it just exfoliates it's not harsh at all you can use it with all types of cleansers and um body washes and it's just amazing and it's affordable in case you haven't haven't been able to tell i love all things affordable like that's just what i'm about yeah i don't know any other way to say it like it's definitely something that you should try as always i'm going to leave a link below where you can get it how much it costs like everything and um yeah so what I have here are some incense sticks and it's from a company. I can smell it now. It just smells so good. It's a company called Smell of Love Candles. Now, I just bought these yesterday, but I bought some other incense sticks, I want to say in March. And even though I too enjoy the smell of it, like there's just something about this one in general. It's called uh, Cocoa Beach and it's coconut and sandalwood. These are hand dipped incense aroma sticks. You guys, yeah. like they just smell so good. Like I said, I got it from a market yesterday. They're going to be available on the website in a few weeks. Oh, maybe even next week. I don't even know, but it just, it just smells so good i have been i've been following this company for uh quite some time so when i saw that they were coming out with their own since i was just excited to get my hands on it and um uh, bought it yesterday burned it you guys we have a one bedroom apartment right so it's a pretty small space this one stick like one stick filled up the entire apartment and it just smells amazing and again they're gonna be on their website i think within a few weeks um so these have exclusively been sold at the markets. I was just so excited to pick it up in general and just to, to you know, just to support them all together. But like when I tell y'all, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this and it just smells so, it just smells so good. And like I said, this particular scent is Cocoa Beach and it's coconut and sandalwood. And they have um, candles as well. We bought two more candles and some other stuff like it's definitely a company that I feel like you guys should check out. You'll love it. It's ran by a kidpreneur. And if you know me, I love the kids. Little precious lambs. And um, I think you guys should check them out. So again, I'm going to leave uh, their information below where you can find them or where you can follow them. You will not be disappointed. And if, again, like some of these other products, if you just so happen to order from Smell of Candles, tell me what you got tell me how you feel about them like let's just have a full-blown conversation in the comment section below my last item and if you follow me on instagram you saw me actually like apply these and like these are so what is it to me it's just so innovative and yeah it's like one of the smartest innovative products especially when we were all in quarantine like it's just i don't even know any other way to describe it it's amazing I love it. I'll buy it a thousand times over. But it's by a company called O'Hara. May have seen it on some type of Instagram ad. But they're literally like gel. They're like half cured gel strips, right? And you're able to have like the, the cutest designs in the comfort of your own home. So I've already used this one, right? <clears throat> this particular design. And then I have this one on my toes right now. I'm just not going to throw my foot up for you to see it. <laughs> But just know that it's cute. 
and this is the next one that I bought. And again, they're just like these gel strips. They're half cured. And you can only cure them if you have um, a UV light. But you guys, you can get that a, a cheap UV light from like Amazon or something. And look at this design. So these are like, so these are like plain ones, as you can see. And then you have the design one. So if you like to do like a little accent nail, you have enough to, I think you have enough to do like two manicures, but they work so well. I work in the food industry and as much as I would love to get a manicure all the time, like I used to, you have to be careful about which ones you get because you're working with food. You don't ever want to be that person that ends up getting like chipped nail polish in someone's food. But y'all, I had no issues with these. They're easy to apply. Like it's just so foolproof to me and they're just amazing. Like you just cannot go wrong with this. So I had to feature this as my favorite for this month because it's really, it's just, it's just that amazing. Okay, so as I'm packing up <laughs> my, my stuff, I realized I forgot to show you guys one other product. I can't believe I forgot it. So really the last product that I have is an interesting product, but I appreciate it because I am someone who is constantly looking at some sort of screen. I've also had migraines since I was nine. I actually have a headache right now, but it just doesn't seem like it. But this is a an eye massager by a brand called Renfro, okay? So this company, um, they can be found on Amazon. So this is what the device looks like. I actually made um, a post about it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? I'm gonna leave a link for this in the description box. Um, but yes, this is an eye massager. Um, so, well, let me just show you. I'm not gonna put it on my eyes because I got makeup on. I don't wanna like ruin the pad, but there's like a pad here, right? you turn it on it'll play music it heats up and it's just soothing and so sometimes if i do get a headache i will put this on it just allows you to like rest your eyes and just have like a moment so these are all of the controllers over here so i'm just gonna let you hear it and see it in action okay so this is what it looks like when it's in the works, right? It's expanding. So it'll massage your eyes and like the pressure points. And it actually feels really nice. And I don't know if you can hear the music. Isn't that cool? Let me turn this off. Okay, so you can take it with you to travel with. Um, I can see me on a plane just like muting everybody up. Okay, so this is a dust bag that it comes in. There is a remote. Um, I haven't really used a remote because it's kind of weird trying to use it with it being on your eyes, but that is available. It's blue. Is it Bluetooth? Yes. There is, is Bluetooth enabled, so you can even choose your own tunes if that's what you feel. I haven't tried it using my own music just because I kind of feel like it already gives you the soothing music, so just use the soothing music, music that it comes with. But yes, this is actually a really cool item. And again, I'm going to leave a link for it below if you're interest, interested in trying it. Um, for me, it's just very relaxing and it just helps to relieve any stress on your eyes. If you are like me, you're just always on a computer screen looking at a screen um or you you know you get your headaches every now and then i can't believe i forgot about showing you this item but yes that is another product added to the list and i think now that is all my products so again if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you thumb it up subscribe if you haven't already and until the next time i will see you guys later